Welcome to this full tutorial on how to set up an OpenConnect VPN server in 2025. By the end of this video, you'll have your very own secure VPN running, ready to connect from any device, Windows, Android, or others. Let's get started. First, you need a VPS with at least one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM, running either Ubuntu 22.04 or Debian 11 or higher. If you don't have a VPS or you don't know how to buy one, check out my video, How to Buy VPS Full Tutorial 2025 link is in the description. After creating your VPS, you need to connect to it. I use Termius, the SSH client I personally recommend. If you don't know how to do that, I also cover it in my video, How to Connect to Your VPS Using Termius link in the description. Open Termius, create a new host, enter your VPS IP, set the username to root, and enter the VPS password, usually sent to you by email. Then connect. Before doing anything else, update your system by running this command. This makes sure your server is fully up to date before installing any new software. The update process may take a few minutes to complete. During the update, you might be asked to confirm actions or select options. Just accept or approve them until the installation finishes. Now install the OpenConnect server by running this command. Once the menu appears, type 1 and press enter to begin the installation. The process takes about 2 minutes. When it's done, you'll be asked to create the first user, enter a username and press enter. Then enter a password for that user. Next, it will prompt you to enter the TCP port. You can type a custom port number or simply press enter to use the default port, 443. Then, it will ask for the UDP port, again, you can enter a custom port or just press enter to use the same port as TCP. After that, you'll see your server configuration details, the most important part is the client connection link. This is your server IP address followed by the port you chose, we'll use it to connect later. Now run the script again to return to the menu. This time, type 6 and press enter to go to user management. In this menu, you can, add users, remove users, enable or disable users, view the list of users. To add a user, type 1, then choose a username and password. Repeat this for as many users as you need. A VPS with 1GB RAM and 1 CPU can usually handle up to 10 users. To connect to your server, you need three things. The client link, that's your server IP and port, the username, the password. There's no config file needed, just this simple info. To connect on Windows, use an app called OpenConnect GUI. You can download it from its official website, I've added the link in the description. After downloading, install it. Then open the app. Click on the settings icon, then click new profile. In the server field, enter the client link, enable the customized checkbox and re-enter the link in the top box. Then press save. Now you'll see your server profile added to the app. To connect, click on connect, accept any messages or warnings. Enter your username and press OK. Then enter your password and press OK again. You'll now be connected to the OpenConnect server you just created. Let's confirm that. As you can see, my IP address has changed to the VPN server IP. That means we're successfully connected. To connect on Android, use the OpenConnect app. It's not available in the Google Play Store, but I've added a safe download link in the description. After downloading, install and open the app. 
Tap the plus icon in the top right, enter your client link. Then tap OK, type a profile name. Then go back once. You'll now see your new server profile in the list. To connect, just tap on the server. If you get any warnings, simply accept them. Then, enter your username and tap OK. Next, enter your password and tap OK again to finish connecting. And you're connected. As you can see, my IP address has changed to the VPN server IP. That means we're successfully connected. And that's it. You've successfully installed and connected to your own OpenConnect VPN server from both Windows and Android. OpenConnect traffic is encrypted, but it's also easy to detect by governments. So if you're in one of these countries, consider using more stealthy protocols like V2Ray, Amnesia WG, or similar tools designed to avoid detection. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. More tutorials and tips are coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.